Hello, good day, guys. I my name is Yuti from Lagos, Nigeria. I would like to show you guys um one or two from a pop um demand from my guys, my friends. They've been asking me how was this achieved? This um black box terrace. How did they achieve this and that? I would just like to show you guys on how to do it. It's just going to be less than five minutes to achieve this. So basically, I already have my model already. So my terrace already. So all you need to use, all you need to do here is, if you've been using Revit for a quite number of the months or weeks, maybe four weeks, and you've been doing one or two models, I guess you, you would have come across extrusion and sweep. So basically, we just make use of extrusion and void to achieve this black box here, terrace. So all you need to do is go back. Let me go back to my Revit. All I need to do is come to my extrusion, model in place, under architecture, components, model in place, and um, casework, OK. And the next thing I just need to do is click on my extrusion down here. And I'll need to go to my right elevation so I can achieve the triangle, the triangle like this, a triangle to achieve this guy, this one, the one on, the, on the, um, at the base. I will need to um, set my plane working plane which i need to pick a plane and just pick this plane here this is the plane i picked this particular work plane and after then sketch the triangle on how you really want to achieve that this is what i want to do so after that okay this would come up what i've been able to model and from my front elevation I just have to drag to fit into my terrace. So this is just it. This is it. This is the horizontal one. So to achieve the um the vertical parts, this part, all I need to go, I'll just go back and on from my ground floor, from my floor plan, any any part of the floor plan, um, which is level one, I have to make use of level one. I also need to continue the extrusion, create this also, create extrusion, create another triangle also. This, and we're good, finish. And go back to my elevation, just drag. And I guess I'm, I'm good. So this is what we'll be having basically for now um i can make it to for me to get the um the line here i guess the line is not showing very well so make use of my join i join this and this and this is what i have now for me to have this line this to cut out these parts and these parts i'll make use of my void my sweep void then i'll go to my floor plan my level one level one and pick void under void sweep and i just need to sketch the part where i want to void out you need to sketch the part this is where i want to void out and then okay um edit profile it would um, ask me which of the elevation I need to do that from. I, then I go to my south elevation, which is the front. And all I need to do is sketch out this part. We don't need this part anymore. We want to take it out. Sketch out this part like this and basically this. And then just trim out and finish finish this is it this is it i guess we're less than five minutes 
we did this in less than five minutes this is just it's, it's as, as simple as as that if you've been using Revit for quite a long a short time you should be able to still achieve this thank you very much